at the start of the episode, Lorraine suggests that he change his name. Not only does this get him away from the suspicious eyes, but he also has to start over. As long as Rent has an iron level like a newborn, he doesn't mind. In the end, he will be a mythal rank adventurer. The most important dream he has is to kill the three orcs that Sheila gave him. She is shocked that he has already done this. It's hard for Iron Level to kill three orcs at the same time. Adventurous, but Rent has already done this job easily. So Adventurous and those around him look at him with wide eyes. Sheila sees that he could do a lot of things, so she tells him to wait a minute. In the meantime, she went inside to talk to someone higher up. He is allowed to take the bronze level test because she talked to them and got their permission, which is what the law says. Iron level beginners aren't allowed to take part, but Shella knows he can do it, so she does it without any trouble to test him. He has been told to rest. How can renters miss such a great chance without wasting a single second? Second, he says yes. Then, he moves in with Lorraine and tells her the most important news. She is also happy now. He is powerful, so she knows he can do anything. Putting this aside for a moment, she asks him his name, which he told the guild. When Rent talks about Rent Vivi, she starts to cough. Even the tea that fell on the floor is being drunk by her. People avoid her because Rent has taken the name of her family. The thing that made her wonder, but Rent gives her a good answer. He has taken on her name so that no one can speak badly about her. Many people may wonder why he is living with them and point the finger at her character. But he has taken away their doubts because he is family to her. Lorraine gets a pretty smile on her face as she listens to this. She had no idea that Rent really cared about her. Also, she doesn't care what other people think of her. She is very smart and skilled, but she can't have a high rank in the capital, so why should she depend on them? Also, he owes her rent because she let him live there. If she doesn't, then his identity can be found out. She is a big part of his success, but Lorraine doesn't think she has to do much for rent yet since he still does her chores around the house. Rent is grateful for her. Lorraine gives him confidence by telling him that he has introduced himself as a family member. So it doesn't matter if she lets him live in her house. And she doesn't mind if he stays here his whole life. The rent can't go anywhere, so it's the best place for him to hide who he really is. The next day, Rent shows up at the Adventurer Guild. On his first day, other adventurers are shocked to see him. He amazed everyone with how smart and skilled he was. Even Shella is still deciding if he will be here when she wants him to be. He still needs to study for his next tests. But this one is next month. So he is ready for the bronze level test. He can take the test since he has passed all the skills tests. Without a doubt, a test guide shows up and asks them if they need to pass two types of tests. The first test will test their knowledge as an adventurer. They should know a lot about this rant, already knows it, and is ready for it. The guild will give more information about the next test after the written or oral test is over. The rent was about to give a written test. He went to the center for the written test. He has Ola following him because she is a part of it. Rent looked around the class while he was writing and saw a lot of adventurers. Lola, whom he had seen before in the labyrinth, caught his eye. He is also inspired by how Lola and Rai work together. He is grasped. Ray will also be there when she gets here. He is giving an oral exam because Ray needs to see how well he can write compared to him. Rent knows a lot about a lot of things because he wants to be an adventurer and has spent all his time learning about herbs and other things. In addition, this test was very easy for him because the questions were too simple. Rent had already taken and passed this test after the exams. He hears from Shella that he got great grades. Some people can only get that kind of mark and renters are one of them. Rent doesn't care about his compliments and instead asks about his practical exam. This information will be led by the teacher. She can only say that he has partners named Lola and Ray. They start to talk to each other. Ray can use spirit and power with her sword, and Lola is a mage who can heal them and watch over them from behind. The teacher tells them something new, and Brent knows they will be a great team. They need to go to the New Moon's maze. Plus, they are given a map and are told to look for a cross. To get to the goal, they have to get there first. The person who does it first will get a reward, and there are no rules about how to pass the test. The trouble is that they all have to do the same thing. This means that the tasks will be hard, because everyone will do their best to get to the top using the carriage they are on. Lieberdin's moon and the moons of other participants have moved forward. Asked if they had been there before, luckily they've been here before, but they haven't had a chance to go deep. Now, they're going to use this chance. Chance to follow the map though Ray took a step forward. The order stopped him. They're not going to use this map. 
The date this map was prepared is 15 years ago, which shows that it is not accurate, but the guild gave them the map. Then, how do they do that? In the game mind, the guild gave them a map to see how smart they are, and Rent has already figured out what's wrong. How can GB be so innocent when the carriage is given to get to the place? There's something wrong. At that point, he understood that Ray had told him to keep his eyes and ears open. Right at that moment, Rent goes to a nearby shop and asks about the newest map. For five coins, they get the map which shows obstacles and traps. They can get to their destination and are free, but Guild led them astray. Owners of shops are impressed by Rent's knowledge and wisdom, he tells them. They need to stay with him through the labyrinth if they want to pass the test. They came across some skeletons and pulled out their swords, hitting Ray and Lola and knocking them down. They both use their power to get rid of them, and Rent doesn't worry about them either because he knows they can handle them. Because they are strong and capable at such a young age, the skeletons have avoided them. When one of them gets too strong for I, he hits it in the head with his sword. He also teaches him something else. By getting ahead a few steps, an adventurer never lets down his guard. Rent soon learned something was wrong. He knows what the issue is. He found a sheet of powder that monsters can also be called through. He knows that monsters can't do this because they don't have the brains to. Which means people are to blame. Since the guild told them they could do anything, they are doing this bad thing. Because they have to knock people down to pass the test by motivating them, they are scared to death. As he planned, he moves forward and takes slow, steady steps. People are ready to knock him down, but Rent is ready and blocks his attack with his sword. Lola and Ray are fighting two more people when Ray shows he is strong. Lola helps him and knocks him down with her power. On the other hand, Rent beat them up badly with his punches and sword. It was a great example of working together. Lola and Ray have bound and forced their enemies to kneel, so they can't do anything else. Rent tells them to be careful, because monsters aren't the only ones who are after them. People who admire his skills have also turned into tough competitors, and Brain Ray has decided to follow him. Lola is shocked because Ray never thinks of anyone else as his leader. They move forward, but Ren stops for a while. He tells the adventurer who is hidden to take care of his friends. The man who is hidden is shocked. Even though it's dark everywhere, how could he know he was there? He unlocked them and felt like he had met someone like them before. Besides that, he likes the rent. Sheila, on the other hand, is standing in front of the guildmaster and politely asks why you called him. It seems fishy that the guildmaster already knows about the rent. What makes someone different if they show up with a scratch? He doesn't have a history either, and he looks suspicious, but Sheila still couldn't doubt him. There's nothing she can do to hurt the boss. His boss tells him to find out more about rent. If she finds something fishy, she needs to tell him about it. Everyone has a past that they want to talk about. At this point, Shella has no choice but to say yes because Ray told him to keep their eyes and ears open. Besides that, they're in front of the boss's door. This door will lead them to the biggest monster. Ray, who never gets into a fight with the boss, wants to know more. How does an iron work? Rent is encouraging him to have an adventurer fight with a boss, but Ray is still nervous. At the same time, his rival shows up and starts making fun of them. They treat them like kids and think Mask Man is nothing compared to them. When they see how beautiful Lola is, they invite her to join them, but Ray protects her and tells them to leave because they got there first, just as their enemy is about to attack. Rent then puts his sword around his neck and looks at it. He is scared because this man in the mask could do anything. They are told to stay within their limits by Rent, and he has been given permission to get inside. They've moved in, which makes Ray happy. How could he let them lose if they had won first? But Renz is busy with something else today. Even though Lola already knew, Ra's mind has something else come to it. He might be trying to get them to look inside and see what's going on. When they do, they'll hear the yelling and get hurt. Now that two guys with friends come out, Rent knows that they won't die in this fight. Ray has started to think about this, and now all they need is to get them ready for a fight. He has to work hard to become an adventurer and can't let down his guard. If he fails, he will get hurt. So he has no choice but to give it a try and give up hope. In addition, he asks Lilette, Lola can't leave him alone, whether she's following him or not. Along with a smile, she gives them a good response. Most of them leave the fight by scaring the boss, but they are ready to face the boss, who is much stronger than their imagination. After that, they walk over to face the boss. 